My name is Brandon Levine, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the table component within AM Forms. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and drag over the table component. Uh, there it is. So once I dragged it over, we can see we have a very basic table layout uh, that contains two headers and two rows. So if we wanted to add another column um, in this table, I can simply click on this header, click on these uh, dots, and then we'll click on Add Column, and then we can also delete column from this uh, method as well. So let's go ahead and add a column. And so now we have three columns, and um, you know we can edit the, each column name by simply clicking on the pencil icon, and we'll make this uh, cost, or maybe total cost. So this can be a kind of a purchase order uh, chart where it will lay out the product name, uh, the amount uh, they want to purchase, and then the cost per uh, product. So let's go ahead and add uh, quantity. And let's go ahead and give this price. And I'm going to need to add one more column. So it might be a little tricky since I need to add it to the left and should add to the right. Um, but I can go back to my content tree and just reorganize uh, these headers. I'm simply dragging this above it. And now that is switched. And let's go ahead and just call this product name. All right. So now another thing we have to do, um, especially if we're going to need some calculations going on within our table, is uh, number boxes instead of these text boxes. And it does matter um, when the math is going to be occurring on the back end. So in order to uh, just replace these two, or actually three boxes, I can click on the text box, and then we'll go down to replace, and then I'll type in numeric box. And now that box has been replaced, that text box has been replaced with a numeric box, and I'll go ahead and do this for the additional uh, boxes as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and add in the dynamic functionality for this table to where the end user could uh, you know, click a button and it will add additional rows. Um, so you know, if they need to add, type in six products for, that they want to purchase, they should be able to add in additional rows. So in order to add that functionality, I'm going to go to my content tree. We'll click on row one. And then I'm going to go into configure. And from here, under the repeat settings, um, I need to add in a minimum and maximum count of rows uh, that can be on this table. So we'll go ahead and do one uh, for the minimum, and we'll do 10. So the maximum amount of rows that could be on this table will be uh, 10. We'll go ahead and save our settings. And we go to, when we go to preview, we can see that there is a uh, icon here that will allow us to add in more rows. And it should work all the way up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep. And once we hit that maximum, uh, that uh, icon will go away, and all we can do is delete rows. All right. So that's that, that looks pretty good. So now let's go ahead and add in the uh, back end calculation part uh, to this table. So it's just going to be really simple to where um, you know price multiplied by the quantity uh, should equal total cost for this product. So I'm going to go into to the rule section under the total cost. And I'll create a new rule. And this rule is just going to uh, set the value of this uh, field to a uh, mathematical expression, which will then be, I need to look. I did not go through and uh, change all these names, so they're all the same. So I can just simply drag and drop over. Um, that should be the price, and this should be the quantity. And then I can simply choose multiply by, and then we'll click Done. So now if I go over here and type in a price, let's say five, 
and a quantity of 2, we can see we have a total cost of 10. So it is working correctly, and we can add additional row, um, do a price of 10, and maybe a quantity of 5. Now we have 50. All right. So now um, let's go ahead and uh, do one more step, which is to add in a grand total at the bottom here, in this uh, bottom row. So I'm going to go back to Edit, and then we'll go ahead and change this text box to give it some text. Uh, let's say total cost or grand total. How about that? And we also need to replace this last box here with a numeric box. All right, so in order to add in the calculations here for the total cost of this uh, column, I'm going to go back into the rules, and we actually have to use a um, mathematical expression. Um, so I'm still going to use the set value of text box, but this will now be a uh, function output. We're going to choose sum. And then all we need to do is uh, select the row, and then which panel or which uh, box we want to have it uh, calculate the sum for us for. So we need to add in row 1. And then this last text box should be that total cost of that row. And then I click Done and close out. And now we'll go to Preview. And hopefully everything should be working. So I can type out the price of 5, quantity of 10. We have the total cost of 50, and that 50 is also included here. So now let's go ahead and uh, do an additional uh, row. So let's do 3 and 30. All right, so it looks like all the math is adding up. And of course, I get to add a product name, so maybe uh, shirts. And let's go ahead and do shoes. All right, so you know that's looking pretty good. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is that um, these boxes are still editable. Um, and I think just to make sure that you know, someone can't come in here and edit these boxes, um, we can go ahead and just disable them to where um, you know, the calculations will still occur within that box, but they can not, not be physically uh, changed. So I can just go into the configuration settings and then uh, click on disable object. And now this box will not be able to be uh, changed by an actual uh, end user. It can only be changed by that uh, rule we have set up in the background, which is to calculate the total cost of this field. Do it here as well. So now I want to get a preview. I add in a price and a quantity. I can no longer edit this box. I'm trying to type in a digit right now, and it's not letting me. And same story with this uh, grand total box here as well. All right, um, so that's going to wrap everything up for today. I hope you guys learned something new uh, within AM Forms and how to create a dynamic table with some mathematical functionality behind it. I hope everybody has a nice, nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.